Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another round of Battleship Brawlers. Today, we're just going to kick it off with your standard 1.5 mil, three players on each team. Over here in the right-hand corner, we've got Eno Shade with uh, yeah, a little spinny do thing, you know, with the nukes on it. All right, over here, we also got Gleaton with his uh, tried and true. And Nick with something similar to what Eno Shade is bringing in. I like it. All good stuff. And over here in the left-hand corner, we've got the Cosmo Cat. Haven't seen him in a while, but he is back. Bringing in a Missile Boat. Scylla Cyborg bringing in an Ion cannon looking thing. And Tipson bringing in a Rail Fighter. I don't even... I don't even know what I'd call this. <laughs> it's got a lot of sideways thrust. It's kind of nuts. It's like a crab. I'm going to call it a Rail Crab. Because it flies sideways but yeah here we go i've been loving the comments i've been seeing on youtube i'm glad you guys are happy to see me back i'm glad to be back yeah fun stuff i think instead of daily uploads uh, until i run out of videos i think i'll do every other day i think that's a decent upload schedule to where i'll be able to keep up and maybe have a slight backlog uh we shall see though i don't i don't know if i like having running on a backlog because i don't remember what's in the videos <laughs> and then you guys make comments and i'm like man i have to watch the whole video again to see what's going on dang all right it looks like tipson is getting into range soon very very soon here we go. Oh, he's left some mines behind. Okay, that's interesting. Where are the mine layers? Oh, they're right up at the front. All right, he hits a couple shields. Nukes are away, but he's a little bit too fast. He just gets away. Yeah, and it looks like Cosmo Cat's gonna try to get in here as well. Uh oh, Gleaton turned a whole bunch and now he's not facing towards to the cyborg who now is running away. Bunch of nukes incoming though. He has a bunch of point defense and he's pretty fast, so he's able to dodge those fairly easily. Yeah, nothing too crazy happening yet. Oh, here we go. Tipson actually attacking the back of Gleaton here, taking out some of his thrust. Oh, there's another one. Losing a bit of armor. Yeah, Gleaton's trying to rotate, but Tipson can travel a lot faster than he can rotate, it seems. A little bit of damage to some of the fairings here. Nothing too crazy yet. The Cosmo Cat is finally making it around from the asteroids, and he is coming in to deal some damage. Yeah, he starts launching off some missiles. He does have some nukes there that he can use. Ooh, a lot of missiles incoming. Ooh, a lot of bit of lag today. A lot of bit of lag. Oh, some of the missiles are weaving their way through the shielding and dealing some damage to Nick. He had some very thick shields all the way around, but I don't think they've had time to recharge and they've been taken out since. Are these two on the same team? Tipson and Cosmo Cat? Yes, they are. Just giving each other a hug real quick. There we go, he's still launching some missiles. I don't know if he's gonna have enough damage output to get through Eno Shade's shields here. Oh, he might be in trouble. Oh, yep, there we go. A bunch of nukes landing. 
Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. I think Cosmo Cat, yeah, has a severely reduced damage output now. That is unfortunate. Oh, Nick doing the same thing, launching off a bunch of nukes. Will any of them deal any damage? Ooh, they did shut down all of the shielding there, but nothing too crazy. That was a lot of shielding. Looks like Enoshade is out here trying to finish off the Cosmo Cat. And he does so. He's down for the count. Tipson and Gleeton out here just roaming around. Oh, what happened to Tipson? Oh, he's just trying to charge his stuff back up. With the paint job on his ship, I thought it was deteriorating into nothing. It's like camouflage. About a minute 30 left in this match. One player is down. All the other players, I think, are still in the game. Uh, Nick has taken a bit of damage, but still pretty functional, pretty operational overall. Uh, Silla Cyborg hasn't taken any damage yet, I don't think. He's got a pretty well-defended ship, all things considered. It looks like he is going to try to start taking Gleeton down. Because Gleeton can't really run away that well, so. <laughs> Alright, Nick, now out in the, the zone. Probably not where he wants to be. Uh-oh. Gleeton's losing some of his rails, his precious, precious rails. Oh, Nick is coming in here to shield his buddy. Oh, that nuke might land. Oh, not quite. It's almost there. There we go. Enoshade has gotten really close range and decided to launch all of his nukes from this very, very close range. It does look like he makes some connections on the point defense, which is going to make him a lot more vulnerable in the future. Oh, he loses a bunch of shielding as well. He might be in a very fragile state now. Uh-oh. He doesn't have the point defense to save him anymore, but he just barely manages to dodge all of those nukes coming at him. Ooh, Tipson over here almost threading a shot into the center there. It looks like he was timing that very carefully. Yeah, Gleeton still stuck out here in no man's land. Gets picked off by Scylla Cyborg. Yeah, the ship doesn't have enough command points, enough command points to run. So he's definitely going to... Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. He had one rail left, and he almost took out the cockpit here. However, he did sever the back end thrust here. So once these run out of power, that's kind of it. And the... A vast majority of the crew, it looks like, is back there as well. So he might have a difficult time just from that single that single hit. Oh, Tipson finally taking some damage. Looks like he's still operational. Maybe just lost a couple thrusters. Nothing too crazy. About six seconds left before the circle no longer exists anymore. Yeah, everybody's still kind of hanging on. All right, Enoshade launching a few more nukes out. Let's see if he manages to get through the shielding here. He does manage to get through the shielding. Sets off a chain reaction in Scylla Cyborg's interior here. He's still running, but his damage capability is severely reduced. And now Enoshade just has to, yeah, reload a bunch of nukes and come in for the kill. Yeah, I don't think Tipson's uh, rail ship over here has a has a lot of damage output. I do appreciate that he's trying to use the mines, though. <laughs> it's kind of great. Here we go. Yeah, a bunch of mines going off. Oh, I think they're dealing friendly fire. 
could be nukes going off. Hard to tell. Yeah, so the cyborg looks like he's had to turn off a bunch of his thrusters over here to try and make do. Nick coming in with some more nukes. Takes the win for team two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into some boss fights. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be bringing you Battleship Boss Fights. It's going to be a little bit different from Battleship Bosses in that there's only two players, each one bringing their own boss ship type contraptions. Over here in the left, we have Yujin, who's bringing in Exodus, this big ship with a bunch of different damage propositions. It's got ions, it's got missiles, it's got everything you could wish for. And over here in the right hand corner, we've got Nick, two, three, four, five. He's bringing in two ships called Lord of the Rings because they're about half the price of this exit. If you're only half the amount of money that this guy is, he's got a bunch of shielding, a bunch of rail guns. I'm excited to see how this goes down. Oh, I should have put the timer a little bit higher. That'll be all right. Should be fine. I think we we'll see how this one goes. If the time limit is too small, then we will go ahead and move it to a longer time limit. All right, here we go. They're getting into it. A bunch of missiles have left the ship and they're yeah, flying across the field. It looks like Nick is losing all of his shielding to these missiles. I do hear rails firing. They don't seem to be doing too much damage yet. Okay. He's leaving one of Nick's ships alone. Nick, I think, needs to target his rails on this spinner. It's just spinning for no reason at this point. He is targeting with this one, though, which is good. There we go. They're both firing. Okay, okay. Still operable, this ship. Oh, he hits in the center there and takes out a whole bunch of reactors. Oh man, there's a pretty wild chain reaction going on. Looks like he's targeting his missiles at one ship and going at the other one with an ion beam. He's getting close enough that a bunch of nukes are being launched. That's kind of a Hail Mary. Oh man, it's kind of hard to tell. What's going to happen here? Yeah, Nick trying to get his other ship over here. Fusion still in control of his main ship. All right, Nick looks like he's, yeah, able to get out of the way, at least for now. Oh, there we go. He's taking out a lot of the thrust on fusion here. I'm just going to make him kind of a sitting duck. Oh, there we go. He takes out one of the ions at the back here that's like snaked all the way through to the front of the ship. It's a very interesting way to do ions. I don't know how efficient it is to do that. I think you, I think you lose efficiency every time you go through one of these, so it's probably not the most efficient. I could be wrong, though. I think you might keep 100% of your stuff. It's just targeting. Yeah, I think it's it's probably fine. I don't. I think uh, Nick needs to target some of the the cockpits on this thing. 
Which he hasn't done yet. Looks like he's mainly going for reactors. I mean, there's a there's a cockpit right there. He could just he could just take it out, and then this thing may not have enough control or command points to control itself. And that would be ideal. All right, we're coming down to the wire. There's about a minute and fifty seconds left. Oh my gosh, he was so close to just taking this out. All right, here comes one more volley. Will it be for the cockpit? It is for the cockpit. All right, he still has control of the ship, amazingly enough. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, just a bunch of rails coming through, taking out more of the thrust, really disabling this ship. Uh oh, I think we might have lost the targeting ion as well. Which is gonna severely reduce the damage capability on this thing. Oh, yep, there we go. There's a nice chain reaction. Yeah, fusion looking pretty battered and bruised. But I mean, so is Nick over here. He does still have damage capability on this thing, but only about half of what it used to have. This one, pretty much untouched. It's doing great. Oh. Looks like Nick is targeting another cockpit from this side. Oh, maybe not. I figured he was. Yeah, these uh, these little fidget spinners, not too bad. Pretty good. All right. Yeah, kind of coming down to the wire. It doesn't look like Fusion has, no, he has barely any thrust. He's basically immobile. The zone is closing in. Looks like, yeah, both players are kind of hanging out in the zone. Or outside of the zone. In the red zone, that is, taking damage. It looks like Nick has stopped dealing damage for the time being. Just kind of hanging out. He does have some nukes going off, if nothing else. There we go. I think we had a forfeit. And Nick takes the win in this first round. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For this battleship boss fights round in the left-hand corner, we've got Polar Bear bringing in this Colossus thing in Madoop. It's got a pretty funky paint job as well. I like it. I'm going to give it a solid A. Over here in the right-hand corner, we've got Mothership Master. He's bringing in a deck gun square. But I think it's just going to spin. I think that's the plan. Oh, I'm out of breath. I just had to chase a cat around the house. It was eating something it shouldn't. Oh, boy. All right. These two are going to get straight into it. I have changed the timer for this round to a solid 10 minutes so that we don't have to uh, suffer through the zone taking people out. Oh, right off the bat, a bunch of rails coming through and carving out a decent chunk. For Mothership Master's ship here. He didn't quite have enough armor to survive or to uh yeah make it through that. Bunch of nukes coming off polar bear here. Oh yeah, these guys are around five mil each. One of them is 4.8 mil. Uh which I think is Mothership Master here, and Polar Bear is pretty much right at five mil. So roughly the same price point. Ooh. Man, those rails. They really cut through stuff. Looks like Mothership is about to be backed up against an asteroid here. Which is probably not where you want to be.
He is managing to rotate, at least for now, until he clips that. Yep, now he's kind of stuck. He does have his most armored side facing polar bear, though, which is good. Because, uh, yeah, you definitely don't want that side facing him at the moment. May not be great. He does have tractor beams up here in the front, but I don't think he is using them at the moment. There we go. We'll look at it from this angle. Yeah, it looks like they're just trading deck cannon shots for now. Mothership does have a lot of deck cannon capability. He did take out a railgun. That's good, because those railguns are going to hurt the longer that they're on the board. Yeah, a lot of deck cannon fire. Oh, okay. Polar Bear looks like he might be trying to... All right, I thought he was trying to get around. There we go, he might be trying to get around now. Kind of like your regular broadsider ships here. <laughs> it's just a bunch of deck cannons on the side. All right, it looks like he's, yeah, coming around to the hole at the back here. I think Mothership needs to rotate. Yeah, I think he needs to spin and pretty soon because it looks like Polar Bear is lining up a shot straight for the center here. Oh, he does hit armor. Yeah. Yeah, just barely not able to thread the needle through to the center there. But there's not a whole lot of damage capability from Mothership over on this side. Oh, there we go. Polar Bear threads a shot straight through the center there, taking out both cockpits and taking the win.